One of the most wild experiences of my life. Ceramics is having a moment. Is now the star of a new reality show on CBC. Clay is the biggest diva in the room. <laughs> It wants to dry awkwardly. I'm excited to see it. Oh, wow! Canadian actor Seth Rogen isn't just a judge, he's an artist. What started as a hobby grew into his own line of ceramics. Like many online, he shares videos of his work with views in the millions. It was really like social media that sort of thrust it into the limelight. Mm -hmm. I think it kind of relit the romance of ceramics. Put it like right in right the middle. There. To investigate, we decided to get our hands dirty. One, two, three. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Gabriela Anguello opened her first pottery studio in her kitchen. Now she's giving private lessons to Drake. Post-pandemic, she says clay helps people reconnect. You are playing with nature. You are like just connected right away with nature. And you are making something Artistic. Ooh, look at that. I know. It looks like a thing now. So As my now blob becomes a bowl, bowl, it's easy <laughs> to see that. What brings people to the wheel is as varied as their creations. You can't physically look at your phone because your hands are messy. So you're forced to just be in your own head. Yeah, just um, kind of entering like a meditative state. But in Montreal, Garbo Jew learned the life of a potter isn't all it's cracked up to be. Wake me up. To her army of nearly 900,000 followers, she was living the dream. My first Christmas sale, and I think that month alone I made three times my monthly salary at my architecture job. But she says the rising costs, the high failure rate, and troubleshooting tricky kilns. You see an error code go on and you're like, okay, well, I guess it's time to play electrician again today. And then you're just trying to, you know, wait for the kiln to cool down and pray that the stuff inside isn't ruined at all led to burnout and her studio closing. She hopes the new wave of interest will help people see the real work that goes into those one-of-a-kind objects. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.